که از او چرخ و هوا رقص کنند جان هاز خوشی بی سر و پا رقص کنند در گوش تو گویم که کجا رقص کنند که در هوا و در همون است نیکو نگرش که همچو ما مفتون است هر ذره اگر خوش است اگر محزون است سرگشته خوش remember my, my uh, you know, my stepfather, you know, would beat me and he, you know, he would beat me with extension cords and, and, and hangers and, you know, pieces of wood and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, after every beating, he would tell me, you know, it hurt me more than it hurt you. And, you know, I only did it because I love you. It was kind of, you know, it communicated the wrong message to me about what love was. So for many years, you know, I thought that love was supposed to hurt. And um, I hurt everyone that I love. And I measured love by how much pain someone would take from me. Um, and it wasn't until I came to prison in an environment that is devoid of love that I began to have some sort of understanding about what it actually was and was not. And I met someone uh, and she gave me my first real insight into what love was because she saw past my conditions. And the fact that I was in prison with a life sentence for murder, not, and not only for murder, but for doing the worst kind of murder that a man can do, murdering a woman and a child. And it was Agnes, the mother and grandmother of Patricia and Chris, the woman and child that I murdered, who gave me my best lesson about love because by all rights, she should hate me. But she didn't. And you know, over the course of time and through the journey that we took, <laughs> that's been pretty amazing. She gave me love and <clears throat> She taught me what it was. Thank you.
सुखमरा तने उजियार रहे तो हमरो बाल बचाओ उजियार रहे अलाव जी के मैं जब पासे इन नंफ्रेंस डिफिसिल इसार जारजां शे सु अरिवे अल यूनिवर्सिटे जे यू मे प्रीमियर बुर्स डिस्टलेशन ए जे सु अल पेये इन मोटो टूट नेव जे ते लास प्रीमियर पर्सन अल मेट्र मार्च J'étais la première personne à monter d'ici pour arriver à la maison. Ce moment où je sens le vent me taper quand je circule, le fait de savoir que je ne suis pas derrière la moto d'une tierce personne, c'est ma moto à moi. Ah. Je suis arrivé à la maison et pour dormir la nuit, j'ai mis la moto dans ma chambre et j'ai enfermé avec moi. Comme ça, je peux sentir l'odeur du moteur chaud là. Voilà. L'odeur du moteur, l'odeur du neuf. Et quand j'allume la lumière la nuit, je vois que ça, c'est ma moto à moi. Franchement, c'est parce que je ne pouvais pas mettre la moto sur le lit, de, dans, sous ma couverture. C'est ça que j'aurais fait. Oui, là, là, là j'ai eu. Oui, ça, c'était un moment très, très, très heureux pour moi. Счастье, счастье, когда дети любят возвращаться в твой дом. Это как мое материнское счастье. Счастье, когда муж заходит, улыбается, поцелует в щечку спустя 33 года замужества. Это тоже счастье, но счастье уже женское. Счастье, когда внуки бегут навстречу и своим ангельским голосом кричат «Бабочка!». Вот именно когда бабочки кричат, а не бабушка, когда повзрослеет. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда на работу приходишь в коллектив и... Тебя встречают, встречают и радуются, что вот пришла, значит, можно пообщаться. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда утром встаешь, и у тебя нету боли с букетом болезней. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда дождик идет, значит, урожай будет. Счастье много, и в то же время оно одно. Живешь, значит, счастлив. Just my experiences from being in a wheelchair and traveling the world in a wheelchair, I've seen life from a different angle. And that's taught me on a spiritual level to just accept and to be happy What's whatever's coming next. I'm so mentally strong 
And the only reason that has come is because of losing my legs physically. You know, my eyesight's sharper, my ears are, I can hear much better. So that's on a physical sense, but I feel I'm lucky as in, I don't analyze or question life too much. I can, I can cruise through life and, and always be in the right place at the right time. I always have amazing things happen to me. I'm, I'm really lucky in that situation. But that comes from believing in, in luck or believing in the power of attraction or believing in, in, in attracting the goodness into one's life. And I think that can be seen as luck. Um, so if God himself jumped down in front of me right now and said to me, Bruno, I'll give you back your legs, but I'll take away all that you've learned over the last 13 years. I'll tell God, keep your legs.
look up which I love. You are called Dark Sine Ning. Manako, you go kiss the name. Can you allow you to come, Miss Dorena? A man arguing, detaining a bear of Kakalatuna Kundi. Because I lose a rezzo, not a conomata. Rehirdo, Hirina Gazingo, the editing good like a room, the Hirina Gazingo, Hiran Razanaki Joe do morning. Man, no man. حتى من اول لحظه حملت فيها الاسلاح كان في نوع من انواع الخوف الخوف موجود عند كل البشر وخايف كمان اني اشيل دم او كذا وهيك او انه شيلت سلاح انا صرت ب ب يعني من معلم مدرسه الى مسلح بس في شيء اجبرني يعني في في مناظر او امور اجبرتني لما احيانا بيسالني انه يعني احيانا تخطر ببال افكار انه بابا ليش الحرب هاي كلها ما بدها تنتهي؟ انه بابا ليش انت مثلا تقتل العسكري؟ العسكري ما عنده اب وام عم يستنوه وعم ينتظروا مثلنا يعني بابا بقول له ايه مزبوط الكلام بابا كان ليش بابا بقول له بابا لانه هو على خطا واحنا على صح طيب ليش هو على خطا إيه بابا هو على خطا هو عم يقتل اطفال عم يقتل عائلات عم ي... عم يدنس المساجد عم يقصر المساجد يا بابا احنا عم ندافع عن الشيء هذا فاحنا بنحاول دائما الاطفال نبين لهم كل الامور هاي يعني انه صحيحنا حملت سلاح بس حملته في شغلات اجبرتني على حمله ولا مو حب انه ارتكب انه احمل دم ب ب على رقبتي مدى الحياه واحس بذنب انه انا قتلت انسان، لا ما حد بيحب يقتل انسان او يلوث ايديه بالدماء. ما بخافش من الموت انا بخافش من الموت بس لاجل سوريا. بخافش من الموت لاجل ابوي وهذا. لو انه ما بوفاش ابوي كان بخاف من الموت. ما سمى بخافش من الموت لو انهم يذبحوني يموتوني يفجروني بقذيفة ما بخافش مو منه الحق ابوه ولا ظني بسوريا Bahon Jane, Baho Bamo Massacre, Bamo having it to marry Vivi. From there, say you may have Mona Azaram Fata, Aram Kirango, Gusego go Gurijit. Give a rock Bracona Runduna, Natale, Hagonarinzi, Kutano Kanyamotumo toot, Gonarin Bees, Monogongo, Akajam Fata, Akafatino Chizange. Akajenda fatu mubiri wanje akavuga ngo ngo ndi umututsi ngo nimba nari umututsi ngo ndafangiye akayabwira abo bantu ngo nibandase ngo bankureho none aho nkavye mu gese muranda samunyi ca muranye ciriki ko ari nta kibi nakoze muranye ciriki none aho ngo nyuma yaho haza ngo bararasa cyane amasasu menshi cyane maze kurasa amasasu menshi cyane ndiruka no maze kwiruka aho ngese hose kajya mbona ni mirambo y'abantu ni mirambo y'abantu amaraso no ngese aho ubwo nahise nicara ndavuga nti mana bibo kushaka yanagira imana nkarokoka فت عنا على البيت طبعا لقيت الباب مفتوح مخلوع خلع وكان في برا حفرة زاتين كانوا قنبلة فت يعني تلاقيت أبوي مدد وأخوتي من وراء هيك لأنه أول ما فاتوا طخوا عنا بالبيت كان أبوي هو فتح لنا الباب وقال لنا فيش عنا حدا فيش عنا مقاتلين قالوا له طيب روح كانوا صفين أخوتي على الحيط وإمي قالوا له انت روح روح صف معهم وهو عم بعده عم بفتل بلشوا اطلاق النار طبعا طلقات اجوا بظهره وقلب وبلشوا اطلاق النار على جميع اخوتي 
انا كنت يعني بس اثناء المجزره ب 82 كنت شاب وعم بكمل دراستي يعني ما كنت افكر اني اكره الناس او احقد على حدا بس هاي المجزره طبعا خلتني اعيد التفكير بكثير امور يعني خلتني افكر مين بحبني مين بكرهني مين يعني ليش صارت هالشغله حتى صرت افكر بابعد من هيك فهي خلت يعني عندي حب الكراهية وحب الانتقام والطأر وهيك أنا ما كنت أصلاً إنسان ما مخلوق على هالشغلات هي بتصير مع الوقت أو مع الأشياء اللي بتصير معه هو بتصير إن كان حب أو كراهية تقدر تسامحينا إذا أنا قتلت بيك أو خيك وما ق... ما في قانون حسبني ما وصلك حقك تقدر تسامحيني أنت؟ بتسامحيني؟ إذا أنا قتلت خيك؟ سامحيني او بيك او امك اكيد ما راح تسامحيني نهائيا ما راح اسامح ولو بدي اقول يا رقبتي ما راح اسامح هاد شيء ارف اخاد بامسى تكوفات الميلوين هوفالتي كوخ شلا يخيدا شلي يتفوس مخبل متبد بكفار بفاتي شخيم وخشو هوفالتي تكوخ היינו צריכים להוציא אותו וירינו על הקירות כדי שהוא ידע שאנחנו החזקים. ויצאה מהבית אישה עם ילדה לידיים וילדה קטנה לידה. היה שלוש לפנות בוקר והילדה בבהלה רצה לקראתנו. פחדתי שתתפוצץ עליי ועל החיילים. צעקתי לה לעצור בערבית, היא לא עצרה. יריתי כדור מעל הראש שלה. היא עצרה. ובאותו רגע נעצר גם משהו בי. וזה היה הרגע הקצר הארוך ביותר בחיי. הילדה נשארה בחיים, וגם אני נשארתי בחיים. אבל באותו רגע מת משהו בשנינו. בילד שיורים עליו משהו מת, אני לא יודע מה, אבל משהו מת. במבוגר שיורה על ילד. משהו מת, וכשמשהו מת, משהו חדש, משהו חדש חייב להיוולד. התחושה של הבושה שיריתי בה, התחושה של הכאב, ובעיקר התחושה של פרק האצבע המורה ביד ימין שלחצה על ההדק וירדה על ילדה. אני חושב שזו נקודה שמשהו חדש התחיל להיוולד. One of the most impactful things that will occur after being in combat is the feeling of killing another human being. Once you've experienced it, you'll see that it's not like anything else that you've experienced before. And unfortunately, that feeling, your body will want to experience again. It's... It's really difficult to try to explain to somebody, explain to somebody what that feeling's like. Um, right now, I still feel like experiencing that again, and it's probably why I keep a loaded weapon in my house. I yearn or desire for someone to try to, to hurt me or to break in or to give me an excuse to use that violence against somebody else again.
the 16th of January 2007, an Israeli border police shot and killed my 10 years old daughter, Abir, in front of her school in Anata, where I live. She was with her sister and two other friends, 9.30 in the morning. In her head, in the back, from a distance of 15 to 20 meters, by a rubber bullet. Abir wasn't a fighter. She was just a child. She don't know anything about the conflict, and she is not part of this conflict. Unfortunately, she lost her life because she's a Palestinian. I'm an Israeli who lost his uh, daughter to a suicide bombing on the 4th of uh, September 1997. And I'm uh, a product of uh, of an education system. These are two societies at war. And uh, they socialize the young generation to make them being able to sacrifice themselves when time comes. And this is uh, true to Palestinian society and this is also true to Israeli society. Because we are human beings, sometimes you think, if I kill the killer, or anyone from the other side, from the Israelis, or maybe 10. This will give me back my daughter. No. I'll cause another pain and another victim to the others. I decide to break this circle of violence and blood and revenge by stop killing and revenge and support revenge by myself. My definition of sides have changed dramatically. Today, on my side are all those who want peace and are willing to pay the price of peace, and the other side are those who do not want peace and are not willing to pay the price of peace. Many people told me that it's not your right to forgive in her name. And the answer, it's also not my right to revenge in her name. I hope she, she's satisfied. I hope she rests in peace. A story that came out of the German army in the SS, in the ghetto, and in a single day, my mother said, take my daughter, and she told me that she was born in my life, and she was born in my life, and she was born in my life, כאמור, יהודייה בת שנתיים וחצי, והיא בלב כואב מספרת שהיא מעבירה אותי לידיים של איש מופלא במדי אס אס. היום אנחנו יודעים שאותו אדם, אלויזה פלבה, שירת בצבא הגרמני, כי זה היה, הוא חי בגבול גרמניה, אבל למעשה הוא לקח אותי למעיל שלו, הכניס אותי לתוך המעיל שלו כתינוקת, ומעביר אותי אל... גבול גרמניה, פולין, לבית הוריו. והם מגדלים אותי, הוא מספר שאני בתו הלא חוקית, והם מגדלים אותי, הופכים אותי לנוצרייה קתולית, הם מגדלים אותי עד סוף המלחמה. איזה מחווה, איזה מקסם, איזה יד מושטת, חוויה של ניצוצות של אור בתוך דברים שהם נקראים טירוף של אנושות. אם אני רוצה ומעלה בדעתי לשאול את עצמי, האם אני הייתי יכולה להיות בתוך אחד המקומות האלה, ואולי הקשה ביותר, האם הייתי יכולה להיות במקום של אותו קצין גרמני? איך, איך, איך אנחנו יכולים בכלל לענות על השאלה הזאת? איך אפשר? אני לא מאמינה שהיה לי את כוחות הנפש האלה לעשות את זה. אם אני שואלת את עצמי את השאלה, אולי כן? איך הוא ידע שזה קרה לו? מי יודע שיש בתוכו, ואיך מתחברים אל אותו רגע אמת שאפשר להקריב את, את עצמך, את חייך היחידים, למען מישהו אחר? אולי שאלה ללא מענה, אולי שאלה שאחרים יוכלו לענות עליה, אבל זה כאילו מתבקש לשאול את זה.
el amor, <risa> el amor es el origen y es el fin. El amor es de donde venimos y a donde vamos y lo que pasamos en medio. El amor es todo. Amor. La palabra amor es muy significativa para mí. Porque cuando se habla de amor, lo abarca todo. Amor lo abarca todo, ¿verdad? Donde no hay amor no hay nada. Estamos vacíos. O me siento vacía. Amor. Porque el amor, el amor es que llena el alma. Creo que el amor es el día a día. Se vive todos los días. ¿Entiendes? Y el amor es, lo, es ese sentimiento que tú eres capaz de, como te expliqué, de transmitir y que te lo transmitan igual a ti. Mi esposa es una persona de un carácter fuerte, parece eh, el guía de la familia, pero la quiero mucho. <ríe> es magnífica. Si usted no tiene sexo, usted en el amor va fracasando. Oiga bien, porque a través del amor viene el sexo. Si usted no tiene sexo, usted va fracasando. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué dice esa mujer? Dice, no, pero ven acá. Este hombre me da amor, me da sexo, eh, me da amor, me da comida, me da ropa, me da todo. Pero no hay sexo. ¿Y qué voy a hacer yo? Este hombre ni va. ¿Qué va a hacer el hogar? El hogar se va a destruir. Porque después del amor es eso. Y eso, y por eso viene el amor. De lo contrario, mm, mm, no hay nada. Sí. 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 Ay, sí. Sí, señor. Hola, hola, hola. Si que me pose una cuestión, si que es amorosa, podría morir, ya me llené. C'est à dire que j'allais au fait, mais j'allais pas au bal parce que pour vous dire la vérité, jamais je suis dansé. J'ai eu essayé, mais ça marchait pas. Alors j'ai abandonné. Je pense que quand on épouse quelqu'un, on épouse quelqu'un tel qu'il est. Voilà, à l'instant T, on l'aime, il est comme ça. J'ai eu cet accident, euh, j'ai plus, plus de bras, plus de jambes. Elle n'a pas épousé un gars qui n'avait pas de bras et pas de jambes, quoi. Donc, euh, mais elle a tenu le choc pendant un, un certain paquet d'années, quoi, un certain nombre d'années. Et il y a eu ce qui arrive à tout le monde, on s'est séparés, quoi. Il y a eu un divorce, euh, et euh, il a fallu que je redémarre une nouvelle vie. Donc, euh, il a fallu trois ans pour que je guérisse de cette rupture, trois ans. Et au bout de trois ans, je me suis dit, mais tu ne vas pas rester tout seul. Donc on vit dans une époque formidable, je me suis inscrit sur Internet, sur un site de rencontre. Et au début, j'avais mis que ma tête, que la photo de la tête. Le reste était dans la pochette surprise. <rire> pas de bras, pas de jambes, je ne l'avais pas montré. Et donc, effectivement, je rigolais bien sur Internet. Et à partir du moment où j'ai annoncé mon handicap, il n'y avait plus personne derrière. Plus personne ne voulait me répondre. Alors j'ai annoncé mon handicap. Et un jour, j'ai rencontré Susanna. Et voilà. L'amour aussi, c'est possible. L'amour aussi, ça fait huit ans qu'on est ensemble. Susanna avec ses trois filles, moi avec mes deux garçons. On a un chien borgne, quatre chats, un cochon d'Inde. Voilà, c'est une grande famille recomposée. Et... Ouais, tout est possible. L'amour a été là une nouvelle fois. Et on s'est vraiment très très fort. Nous, nous vivons ensemble depuis 18 ans. Je n'ai jamais entendu une phrase « je t'aime ». Mais je le sens. Vous savez, parfois, c'est mieux de ne pas dire, mais de faire. Je pensais, comment... Жить долго вместе. Ну как же так? Я, я перестану любить. Я думала, молодая, как же можно спать в одной постели 20 лет? Это тоже очень скучно. Оказывается, нет. Совсем нет. И с каждым днем, я думаю, я его как-то не так любила. Вот сейчас я его люблю так. А через год думаю, нет, я его еще лучше, я его еще больше люблю. И... Когда ложусь спать, смотрю на него и думаю, если его не будет, я не найду. Лучше. After being married for 50 years, 49, 51 years, but my wife took seriously ill 
um, just before we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. And she suffered terribly for about two years as an invalid. For the last two years of her life, I was her nurse, I was her doctor, I was her friend, I was her lover, I was her husband. Um, everybody wanted me to get a nurse, full-time nurse, day and night nurse, and she begged me not to. She only wanted me to look after her. And I loved doing it for her, and I did it by myself. I carried her to the car, I carried her oxygen tank, I carried her wheelchair, I packed it in the car, I took it out, I pushed her around, I put it back, I took her home, I bathed her, I put her to bed, and I loved it that I was able to do it for her without anyone else, and she appreciated it. That's love. The magic moment that I had with my grandfather was right after my grandmother died, and I went to go see him, and I knew that he was hurting, but I wasn't sure what kind of state he would be in. And she was his partner 65 years, as well as his driver, and I went to see him and said, Grandpa, how are you doing? He said, did you know that for $4, I can get a shuttle anywhere in the city? I said, wow, that's great, Grandpa. And he said, well, I went to Savon, I went to the grocery store and went to the woman behind the counter and said, I have this list of things, could you help me find them? My wife has recently changed her residence to heaven. And I said, Grandpa, man, you always help me see the glasses half full. And he leaned back and he looked me in the eyes and he said, it's a beautiful glass.
Yo me salí a los dos años de la casa de mis abuelitos por maltrato. Entonces me fui a la calle, entonces dije, no, pues mejor sigo mi camino para que, pues, a ver si me pueden independizar yo misma. Lo que nunca podría perdonar fue, sería a mi madre, porque haberme vendido no fue una buena idea, porque somos sus hijos. Y le dolió tenernos. Y pues eso es lo que nunca yo perdonaría. Lo más difícil para mí, de, pues, de toda mi vida, la, el fallecimiento de mi papá. Porque pues... Este... <risa> Fue con el que me apoyaba mucho. El que, pues... No sacaba adelante a mis hermanos y a mí. Yo no le tengo miedo ya a nada. Porque viví muchas cosas feas y... Ya estoy acostumbrado, pero no le tengo casi miedo a nada. Me dicen, no, que te vamos a pegar, que te voy a matar. Les digo, no, no les tengo miedo. Y si ustedes lo hacen, no, no les voy a tener miedo, les dije. Sí, a mí, bueno, a mí mi papá me decía que a pesar de todo lo que... Todo, a pesar de todos mis, tro, mis tropiezos que tenga, siempre para arriba. O sea, si me caigo, volverme a levantar. Y así, si me caigo, levantarme y levantarme. Porque pues eso es lo que me ayuda a mí. Y pues si vivo en el pasado, pues siempre estaría llorando, siempre estaría de amargada, no amistosa, o sea, nada. Sino pues... No, sino ser juguetona y estar sonriendo. Porque si vivo en el pasado, pues de nada me sirve. Si no hay que vivir el presente. La familia para mí es este comunión. Es estar, llegar a tu casa y encontrar a alguien que te abra y te diga, qué bueno que estás aquí. Ayudar a mis hermanos a hacer algo que ellos no pueden, que yo ya pude, por ser una, uno de los mayores. Enseñarle, ver a mi papá llegar del trabajo, satisfecho, sentado en su sillón, y pues poderle servir un café. Creo que me hace sentir bien, algo que como que te llena por dentro. Y si te falta uno, te queda como que un hueco en, en el corazón, así como que, ah, diablos, ¿qué pasó? ¿Dónde está? Creo que la familia es algo feliz, notable. Es otra cosa. Te llena. Um, I think when I was young, I didn't think I was going to stay in um, the community of religious that I was had joined, and I suppose I didn't understand what I was actually doing and that I was maybe making a decision which meant that I wouldn't have children and I wouldn't have a family as other people had. I didn't think, I don't really think I understood that. But later in life, I had a sister who died um, of cancer. And when I saw her family, I realized that when I died, there wouldn't be anybody to mourn me in the same way. Sorry. It is, as time goes on, then you recognize that you are a parent to other people who you work with or 
who are friends or who are related to you in some way. So even though you haven't your own family, you have family. So I think that's important to me. Этот ребенок, которого я ждал, я сына ждал всю жизнь. То есть у меня были старшие девчонки, и я ждал помощника. И сейчас, и сейчас хочу еще также, чтобы был у меня ребенок помощник. Но у меня помощник в том, что он мне подсказывает, он мне молчит, он смотрит на меня. Когда мы с ним что-то делаем, где-нибудь строгаем, стучим, я ему объясняем и проговариваю. И такая притча. Когда Господь сидел и распределял, кому, какого ребенка, в какую семью отправить ангелов сидят и говорят, Господи, почему ты этого тяжелого ребенка даешь такую семью? Им, им, им так хорошо, они живут счастливо. Зачем им это? А он говорит, это не для того, чтобы они могли. Ему донести, что есть я. Листочек на дереве, ветер. И я постоянно проговариваю ему. Я проговариваю его об этом. Я говорю, я ему говорю, Алеша, это, это, это листик. Это радость. Мы с ним выходим ночью. Я ему объясняю, что такое звезды. Я говорю, сын, я говорю, звезды. А он, он видит это и смотрит на меня взрослыми глазами, не по возрасту. Еще не такое, что дух, который в нем живет, он намного сильнее меня. И он меня ведет. Ведет меня, нашу семью, детей. И поэтому я только сейчас начинаю понимать, что такое любовь. Изначально любовь к себе. Потому что для того, чтобы жить вместе, надо любить себя, любить себя, любить свою жену, любить своих детей, в том числе старших, любить своих родственников, родителей, родителей моей живы, любить людей, любить людей по, по сути. А суть одна. Тут только любовь может спасти этот мир. हर रगे हर जाई हूँ अंदर बूटी मुश्क मचाया पत्ते जान फुलंते आई Shut 
लख लख चश्मा लूलू दे लख लख चश्मा एक खोला एक कज्जा No, no, io non avrei mai pensato e, e non mi sarebbe mai piaciuto essere un uomo. Perché la vita di un uomo è una vita facile. Troppo. E le vite facili ti portano alla noia. È facile raggiungere gli obiettivi professionali. È forse anche più facile raggiungere la preda sentimentale. Per noi donne è tutto più difficile. Però eh, con la difficoltà c'è anche il fascino di arrivare alla meta con difficoltà. E quindi preferisco eh, senza dubbio essere donna. Eso una, eso è es una impotenza lo che sento quando alguien mm, piensa. Yo, eh, es más, llega alguien a alguna mujer más bajita, al kiosco, y hay algo alto, y me dice: Ay, a ver si viene un hombre y lo coge. Me cago un día, un hombre va a venir, pega un puño y pega un sarto. Teniendo yo dos manos, a mí me va a hacer falta un hombre. Cago en el escopetín. Me da mucho coraje, me da mucha rabia. Esa es mi... No me gusta que, no me gusta que las mujeres... No quiero, no me siento bien cuando intentan discriminarme por ser mujer. Ahora me siento libre. Porque puedo hacer diferentes cosas sin medir el tiempo. Además, estoy divorciada. Perdón. Disculpe. Yo creo que eso no es relevante, ¿no? Perdón. ¿Quiere que lo haga otra vez? ¿Está bien? Yo sé que no es para sonreír esto, pero, pero me siento bien ahora, me siento libre. Mon 
mari a deux femmes. Il est polygamie. Il a deux femmes. Ouais, ici au Sénégal, tu vois, la polygamie, il y a des gens qui ont quatre femmes, il y a des gens qui ont trois femmes, il y a qui ont deux femmes, mais il y a qui ont que, que une seule femme. C'est le choix. Mais même il y en a qui ont six, sept, huit, neuf, jusqu'à dix ans. Mais moi, mon mari a deux femmes. Deux femmes. Je suis la première et l'autre est la deuxième. Et vraiment, nous vivons paisément. C'est mon ami. Cette dame-là, vraiment, il m'aime. Elle m'aime et moi aussi, je l'aime. Heureusement que chez nous, la polygamie chez les femmes, ce n'est pas possible. Parce que, j'ai dit heureusement pourquoi Parce que si ma femme devrait en aimer un autre plus moi, je suis sûr que ça n'allait pas être évident. Ça allait être très compliqué parce que moi, je suis extrêmement jaloux. Extrêmement jaloux. Je ne pourrais pas supporter que ma femme passe la nuit dans les bras d'un autre monsieur et puis le lendemain revenir passer une autre nuit avec moi. Je ne supporterai jamais ça. C'est pour ça que je dis que heureusement que la polygamie chez les femmes n'est pas possible ici au Burkina. Quoi. Parce que, ma foi, je ne m'imagine pas. Quand j'ai été avec ma femme, avec ma femme, à son house en San Francisco, elle n'est pas ma femme, mais la femme que je suis avec, la femme que je suis avec, elle, c'était à peu près une semaine après que nous avons commencé à dater. And I woke up in the morning and I said, so, you know, I ask this of you and this of you and this of you. And, you know, you're hesitating. But, like, the woman I'm with can't have a, a list of no's. Like, it's got to be pretty much all yeses or we don't have a relationship. I mean, that's just where I'm at. And it took her about a month after I pointed that out to her to realize that these no's could not exist. And so that's how... Very little shitty my woman is. She's she's freaking very unique, very amazing. She gives me like she was raised to like adore her man, like old school Mexican, like know when to speak up. And that doesn't mean you can't tell me something. That doesn't mean you can't share. That doesn't mean I don't want guidance. But in my household, the man is the man of the house. Okay, à la maison les week-ends c'est moi qui fais la cuisine. Et un jour, un ami est venu me voir en train de faire la cuisine. Et il m'a demandé que, mais écoute, Asen, c'est toi qui fais la cuisine J'ai dit oui. Que, mais et, ta femme, elle est malade J'ai dit non, elle n'est pas malade. J'ai dit, mais elle se repose. Que tu laisses ta femme faire la cuisine et tu, tu fais la cuisine pendant que ta femme se repose dedans. J'ai dit oui, mais elle a, elle a besoin du chemin de repos. Et il m'a dit ce jour-là, ma femme ne viendra jamais te rendre visite. Enfin, tout simplement parce que tu vas lui mettre des idées à la, dans, dans la tête. Et quand elle va revenir à la maison, je lui dis de faire la cuisine moi aussi. Et je lui ai dit, non, lui ai dit, mais il faut, il faut que tu comprennes parce qu'en en fait, elles ont besoin de ce repos-là. Moi, en tout cas, ça me fait plaisir sur moi lorsque je fais la cuisine pour toute la famille. Bibangomga kona na reka na haga la rakui ga koko no baganza zeshu wa cha ne umya kamish baza kure runga na gukora buri chime cho senga mukosa ngasuira mishu ngombani wenu vitari hafi anje da forta ero binge deshi la kuri anda fungo. Eche no chile jeju mo se no ko no ko mba ko ejo ejo nzara jizwe alamdia yenga ta. Mungu kwa meza mashuri ya nje, ndete ni windi. Hari makazi, nga wama mau mga anaruna kase, mbese nga anaje nga wa umu nga wandi. There is a way out of being abused. For me it was tough because I used to have the worst abuse. I would have a gun put to my head and get told to go on my knees and beg for my, my life. Um, and I would do it just, my kids used to be watching. Or I get put out, out of the house, I get kicked out of the house and have to sleep outside on the steps. And if I moved from there, I would get a hiding the next day. It was tough because I thought it was me. I was the one that was doing something wrong in our marriage. Um, You know, when I started talking about my kids, those were the most important thing of my life. And I thought, if I don't move on out of here, I'm either going to be dead or my kids are going to be dead. So I need to move on. I need to do something. 
And I went home that day and I said to him, I'm leaving. Um, and I think Mark got a bit of a shock because he didn't realize that I was leaving. And he said, no, you'll never leave me. You've never, you will never leave me. You love me too much. And I said, well, you know what? That's what love is about, leaving. And I gave him two choices and I only gave him two choices. I said to him, you either go for counseling or I leave. And you know what? Today he's a better man. He's never lifted a hand up for me ever since the day. That's about nine years ago. So nine years ago, I was still an abused woman. So... I've known, I've liked girls ever since I was a little girl. And I kept it a secret for my family. And my dad, I remember when Ellen DeGeneres came out, it was the first time I ever heard of the word gay before. And my parents were talking about it. And I asked my dad, dad, what is gay? And he goes, it's a girl who likes another girl and they're going to hell. And so I said, okay. And I walked straight up to my room, closed the door, very quietly, and then I bawled my eyes out into my pillow, and I prayed to God every day to please let me like boys, please make me straight, because I knew I liked girls. And so I tried, I tried pretending I liked boys and stuff, but I never did. And then I met, <laughs> to me, the love of my life, and her name was Jen, and gosh, it was just like my world changed. And I didn't really care about anything else. I just knew I wanted to be near her. And that was love to me. Hmm. Yeah, being a lesbian is not a choice, man. It's 
something that is inside you and that is that no one can can help or it's not curable or it's not a disease actually because they always say we sick they the our families even take us to the doctors to the sangomas but ah you just stay there i even had to force myself with guys to get my granny's approval and it hurts cuz i had to do stuff that i don't i really really didn't want to do even though i did that i even asked a friend of mine who is a dude to pretend as if he's my boyfriend but that guy what he did he forced himself to me and then he left me with hiv and that was in 2003 i did all that just to get my granny's approval but now i know that i don't have to do any one thing to please someone else mes parents ils avaient mes parents ils avaient tellement peur que je reste homosexuel que quand je leur dis que je changeais ils s'y ont vraiment cru et euh, même si mes parents ils me posaient des questions tous les jours ils me demandaient c'est bon t'as changé c'est bon et comme le sexe c'est pas possible de changer je fais comme si j'ignorais la question je me prends pas la tête et au bout d'un moment mon père euh, il n'en pouvait plus donc euh, il s'est mis à m'engueuler à me crier dessus à me frapper et à me dire euh, à me dire je sais que t'as pas changé je sais que t'es toujours comme ça et à me dire si, si tu te fous de ma gueule moi je, je te vivrai un enfer et tu dois partir maintenant si, si vraiment tu es comme tu es alors je suis parti j'ai pas hésité une seconde je suis parti I have a son who's now 31 years old um who I love very much uh, he's gay a gay man and the day that he came out was quite significant um I knew that he was struggling with something he'd been suicidal and he was 18 years old and he said to me one day dad I've got to tell you something and I said okay son uh, tell me what is it and he he went he went pale his re, he really went white and he said oh, I feel sick and my heart really went out to him and at that moment I kind of knew that he was going to tell me he was gay although I hadn't made that connection um because he's quite masculine in his in his traits um but just at that moment I had a sense that that's what he was going to tell me so I said to him son let me guess let me make it easier for you I'll guess and he said yeah okay and I said you're going to tell me you're gay aren't you and he he went yes I am and um and I I just I just really really felt for him because it was such a struggle for him to tell me that and everything sort of made sense because he didn't want to be gay and that's why he'd been so suicidal and so I just gave him a big hug and said I love you anyway son it doesn't make any difference to how much I love you and I I think that our, our relationship has really been a lot stronger since then um so that's been a journey in itself c'était en 2009 un ami homosexuel comme moi et lorsque ce dernier là est décédé on l'a enterré dans le, le cimetière de son village mais les l'imam de l'imam de ce quartier et il a rassemblé les gens de la quartier des jeunes du quartier ils sont partis au cimetière pour déterrer ce corps enlevé attaché et traîné comme ça dans la rue et les médias il y avait certains médias qui étaient là qui filmaient ça et la police est venue après la famille a récupéré le corps encore aller enterrer le corps ils sont partis encore déterrer on l'a déterré trois fois et finalement on a enterré le corps dans la cour de son père parce que on dit que la religion musulmane dit quand on est homosexuel si tu meurs on n'a pas droit de prier de ton corps on n'a pas droit de t'enterrer dans le cimetière musulman c'est ça il disait I'm a gay man from Lebanon and it's I have we have no rights over there and we have no rights in the Arab world in general over there and I think what I can do more is what I've started to do is I think I should come out even more I'm 
I am out to my parents, I am out to my friends, I am out to my work, but I think I want to encourage other people like me, um, which have nothing to lose, because I have a salary, because my mom, it's proven with time, it took a time, but she's gonna love me anyway, now, she knows, she knows my boyfriend, she loves me for the way I am, my dad as well, my friends as well. Um, I think if you don't tell anyone, um, the other moms won't know that it's okay to be gay. People should be less shy, people should be more daring when you have nothing to lose. Because some people have a lot to lose and those are not the people that should do the change. But the ones that have nothing to lose. One of my friends was hit with a car bomb in front of me, and I chased after the triggerman with my uh, with my squad, with one of my teams, and we were just we wanted to kill that guy because I can hear my buddy screaming. You know, he was hurt, and so we're running as fast as we can, and we just just full of hate and fury, and we just want to do whatever we can to just you know he hurt our friend. We're gonna get him back. And we're just running, sprinting as fast as we can with all that weight, just sweat pouring off of us. 
uh, through orange fields, and then we get to a clearing, and um, yeah, it hit me. I mean, the blue sky. It was an old man in a white robe and a child just tilling a field, you know, and that just bring me back to reality. I'm like, what am I doing, you know? I'm a human being. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not some instrument of what revenge, I guess. I don't know. I, you know, it's just like you stop and you're like, just people doing people things here where I'm supposed to, you know, where, where all this violence is happening and you stop and you're like, um, I don't know, makes you human again, you know? Eu mesmo amanheço o dia e digo, já no meu roçado, buscar meu colo de feijão e minhas espigas de mim para mim comer. Aí ganho o roçado, quando eu chego é feijão, maduro, é seco, é meio, eu, eu, a alegria, a gente fica, parece que fica, aquilo, a alegria é tão grande que a gente chega no roçado, chega da vontade da gente ficar ali em pé, que é bonito. Um roçado de milho, um roçado de feijão é bonito, mas cada vez a gente fica mais corajosa. Aonan, menem nazar lene ilenim. Aon tenish marat yalech salai godare menem bazafay kofre balalo. Ene wandim baka ene bal malet su aon krail sarto bir tenishim bagin lamata edal. Menem nazar ene ga ilenim. Baka betus yalechu and doro bichana yalech basa unkulal katalech oseje shije basa chao menem bet yalo amatiche balech adirallo. Oui, eh bien, ça fait, ça fait moi-même Joseph, estima Joseph, me dit, la vie me finit, la pays a peut-être, et la vie pas tombé, pour mon temps, mette en un en bâté, pour Taïwan pour vivre, à madame moi petit tout. Alors, et, bon, moi, pas de bras, n'en a eu encore. Pour tout comme ça, ou à partir, ou pour le faire, ou à faire un petit choubois pour racher, pour faire un sac chabot. Ou que doit faire journée là, des jours, ou pas jouer, ou pas gagner pour manger, pour bâtir des gens qui ont créé un pied. Et ou pas besoin de un monde paraît pour dire, ben mon cher, mais ça pour, que ben ça pour, payer d'eau dans le pays. Déjà, c'est coucher tout le monde, coucher pour nous mourir, parce que la vie, ça te l'a vie finir. Ou tout coucher là, ou tout être là, ou pas gagner pour bâtir des gens. Ou pas gagner pour bal, ou pas gagner, ou pas gagner monde d'abba ou. Eh ben, ou ap tout coucher ou moui. Eh, eh, ça te l'avait fini. Dja la vous fini, dja. A ou pas gombet pour vann. Oui. Oui, la vous fini net. Oui. Si eti si pekli nai. दुष्काल वाला पानी ऐसा ले पड़ला सत्तर हजार रुपए दोन बोर मर ला सत्तर सत्तर रुपए में पानी से लग लाने पानी से लग लाना मगर तकाय कर रहे समान डांग रहती बेदान सुधा जाले ना पानी से नहीं तरकस कर रहे काला झार जाले बेदान तीव्र जाले थोड़ा बात तर्स मुझे जब गल साली काय काट लो तोड़ते जब अपन गेट हीरी एक सुधा होती थी पन आटली पानी से नहीं असमं करसर फिटाई जा कसा मनों तेरी अपने दूसरे का This year I was covering a very severe drought in Western Maharashtra, in this country. And on the one hand, I was looking at people, you know, facing destitution due to a water crisis. On the other hand, I was looking at multi-storied buildings coming up with a swimming pool on every floor. We're not talking about buildings with three floors or four floors. There is a plan for two twin towers in Mumbai, even now under construction, 37 floors each, which means there are 74 swimming pools. It's a twin tower. And then I went and looked at 
who are the people doing the construction? Who are these laborers? All the laborers were landless laborers and marginal farmers who had left their villages as refugees of the water crisis and they're in the cities building our swimming pools. The sheer humiliation of it, the sheer injustice of it. I think the fastest growing sector in India is not software or IT, it is inequality. So yeah, it makes me furious. It is completely unacceptable to me to see how closely the affluence of the few is tied to the misery of the many. That's unacceptable. Arrive min kool benda
جب پاکستان سے میں نکلا تھا تو جیسے جیسے حالات تھے وہاں پہ کہ اسپیشلی میری وائف کو بھی پتا تھا کہ جیسے ہمارے حالات ہیں ادھر میں اپنے بچوں کو سپورٹ نہیں کر سکتا تھا اچھی تعلیم صحت نہیں دے سکتا تھا اس کی قربانی ہے میرے لیے میری فیملی کے لیے میری بھی قربانی ہے میری فیملی کی بھی قربانی ہے کہ انہوں نے مجھے اجازت دی کہ میں باہر جا کے کچھ ایسا کر سکوں کہ کم از کم اپنے بچوں کو تعلیم دے سکوں اچھی صحت دے سکوں اور ان کی وہ تمام بنیادی ضروریات کو پورا کر سکوں اور جس دن میں پاکستان سے نکلا تھا وہ دن نہیں بولتا میرے دوست تھے میرے ساتھ کچھ مین گیٹ سے میری امی آئی ہیں باہر نکلی ہیں انہوں نے میرا بیٹا اٹھایا تھا وہ گود میں تو میں جب گاڑی میں بیٹھا ہوا تھا تو میرا بیٹا انہوں نے میری گود میں لا کے رکھا تھا مجھے بولا تھا کہ اس کو دیکھ لے پتہ نہیں کب نیکسٹ ٹائم تو اسے دیکھے گا تو وہ مجھے نہیں بولے گا کبھی بھی وہ میرا بچہ میری آنکھوں میں ابھی تک مجھے وہ نظر آ رہا ہے ایسے اللہ نے ترقب سدان حکومتیں وندر بہائے ما شاء الله ما ما يعني اندر بهائے ما شاء الله يعني ما ما نقصينا ما ناقصين في او او غروج ما ناقصين في ان 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 اكل والحمد لله نحن مرتاحين بنظر ابناء كل لكن الحكومه ما رايها هذه الحكومه وانا قدامي كده اختصب اخواتي قدامنا لما مر لما جات مر ذات قام جلدا وقام اختصب مرتي قدامنا وانا بكون حي أنا أقدر أقول كيف في البلد زيدا. When I was in the boat, I I was very scared because I don't see nothing absolutely, only a water, and the boat also is not a quality boat. We are 110 people inside the boat. I'm nobody comfortable because no food to eat, no water to drink. Yeah, you are sitting in that fuel. You no know, destroy all my body things was hard for me so when i when i see the italian they come and rescue us yeah, i thank god yeah, i know that now i'm safe ñom tamit nekk nañ seen deug nata fi bu fi liggey amon ñun fi lañuy dess mais liggey mo fi amon da ngay gis kërëk lëm nit xëy di tëdda ko juk liggey amon fi bo demul geej doy def ما دف دارا لولا ورا ñu bari dem jaayante dess geejji ta man jaral na ma man xamna ni man dina demal pour l'espagne de italy même xasna ko bu dundu dal dafa boko sama dereb dem rek jar ci gaale dem di yoxoy dem di joy di dem dem rek now i am living in jungle of kali the police come and they dis- disturb us and they said you have to leave the jungle i said we i i have to go we i have to go show me the place we want to go to that he said you have to go back to your country i said where is my country i don't have a country man it's a killing ground it's a ground of killing the the people it's a ground of, of, of fighting it is not a country it's a afghanistan is not a country now it's a killing ground man 37 country come to control that country but they cannot control these people the union cannot control these people how can i you you have to send me back to that country and they kid they i lost my family in that country how can i go to that country back i was refugee in pakistan i was refugee in iran i was refugee in uh, dubai i was refugee and and the turkey i was refugee in bulgaria i was refugee in european country in greece and i now i'm i'm a refugee in france but let me to live man i don't want anything from you i don't want anything from you i don't from want any anything from you i don't need the help but let, let me to live 
ne fabi go ne kon flene italian alhamdulillah ne taro ebe en chogo chogo ton ibe en ganyero itenga ne kon tolo me bi go na alhamdulillah ne kon flene italian hali shini be ko 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 joro se ba nyu ko nawni bal mom ni shinji mumbe hali shini ne be ko bela jale ne joro akon gane de men doye ni ne nyesoro mega feina awde mega feini fasode ni afanso ro ya rabbi ma ala ha kili bola jian fara la haraka nga nyu wande men do ya li bi se kon ten folo ma nga nyu wande men do be bela jere ngon fo আমি একজন বাংলাদেশি মানে গার্মেন্টস কর্মী হিসাবে যেটা আমার কাছে সবচেয়ে মানে অগ্রহণযোগ্য সেটা হলো যে যখন আমাদের কোম্পানির ওনার বা আমাদের মার্কেটিং সাইটে যারা আছে তারা যখন বাইরের সাথে প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশনে বসে একটা কোনো বিষয় নিয়ে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে যখন দেখা যায় যে অন্যান্য দেশে যখন তারা প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশন করে বাংলাদেশের সময় সব সময় চিন্তা করে যে এতে প্রাইসটা একটু স্লো হবে যদি বাইরে এটা চিন্তা করে এইভাবে যে আসলে কোয়ালিটিফুল গার্মেন্ট কোয়ালিটিফুল গার্মেন্ট যদি বাংলাদেশ থেকে যায় তাহলে ন্যায্য মূল্য কেন আমি দিব না তাহলে তো আমরা সবসময় অবহেলিতই হচ্ছি ঠিক না তো এটা তো এটার জন্য তো ওয়ার্ল্ডই দায়ী এটার জন্য তো বেসিক্যালি কেউ এককভাবে দায়ী না 
কেন এটার জন্য যার সাথে আমার যে ফাইনাল কাস্টমার সেই আমাকে ঠকাচ্ছে তা আমি কি করতে পারি হোয়াট ক্যান হোয়াট উই ক্যান হাউ উই বি হ্যাপি হাউ然后我们厂里面的规矩是很多的上班不准聊天上班不准接电话还有上厕所的话也要上上面领导要跟领导说可以去才可以去只有一个人可以去两个人就不可以去每次每次还有那个产量很高哦他每个小时规定的产量他每个小时会来检查如果你没有完成的话他会说你的话有时候还骂骂得很厉害心里都好慌每个小时都好紧张好紧张因为我觉得真的好累了受不了但是没办法Une personne qui travaille honnête n'est pas riche. Je parle d'une personne qui travaille dans nos genre de société, qui n'a pas hérité d'entreprise, qui, 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 qui a fait juste tourner des millions d'euros de, de, dans une entreprise. Pour moi, ces gens-là, ils ne travaillent pas. Ils sont derrière un bureau, ils font des signatures, ce ne sont pas des travailleurs. Si ça se trouve, c'est autant des voleurs que moi. C'est sûr et certain, même, j'en suis sûr. Moi, pour moi, quand, 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 quand vous me dites travailleur, pour moi, c'est quelqu'un qui se lève tous les matins, qui va qui, qui, qui va vraiment faire du travail quoi pour personnellement je connais personne de riche je connais personne de riche pourtant j'ai regardé moi j'ai ma mère elle s'est levée elle s'est levée tous les matins aujourd'hui elle a 40 ans 40 ans passé elle est pas riche elle a travaillé toute sa vie tout ce que ça pour les c'est un problème galo και περισσότερο μεγάλο ήταν το σοκ που δεν μπορούσα να, ξανα, να ξαναβρω δουλειά. Ξέρεις, εγώ δούλευα 27 χρόνια περίπου. Όταν ε, αναγκάστηκα να γυρίσω πίσω στη μητέρα μου, αισθάνθηκα... Το πρώτο μου συνέστημα ήταν ταπείνωση, δηλαδή είναι αυτό που, που σε κάνει και σε καταρακώνει. Σιγά σιγά αυτό την καταράκωση πήγαινε όλο και πιο κάτω, σε έστανε και πιο κάτω, πολύ κάτω. Σε αναγκάζει να λες ότι, ωραία, είμαι 47 χρονών, τελείωσε η ζωή μου, αυτά είχα να δώσω, δεν έχω να δώσω τίποτα άλλο. Και αυτές οι σκέψεις σε κάνουν να μην θε να βγεις έξω από το σπίτι σου, να μην θες να μιλήσεις τον ίδιο, να πηγαίνεις να βλέπεις τον εαυτό σου τον καθρέφτη και να λες, ποιο είσαι ρε μαλάκα, τι κάνεις, τι κάνεις, τι προσφέρεις σε αυτή τη ζωή, γιατί ανασένεις. Γιατί να βλέπεις τον ήλιο εσύ. Τι είναι αυτό που σε κάνει χρήσιμο μέλος αυτό, σε αυτό το, το μπουρδέλο εδώ που ζεις. Τι είναι. Γιατί αναγκάστηκες να πας στα 47 σου χρόνια στη μάνα σου. Γιατί φοβήθηκες να μείνεις στον δρόμο. Ναι φοβήθηκα να μείνω στον δρόμο. Αυτή η ταπείνωση μετά γίνεται οργή. Γίνεται οργή γιατί θες να ξεσπάσεις σε κάπου και δεν ξέρεις πού.
moi-même, moi, moi c'est un pauvre. Je défini la pauvreté. Qui ça pour moi la pauvreté C'est là que j'ai besoin de l'école. Je n'ai pas de l'école. J'ai besoin de manger. Je n'ai pas de manger. J'ai besoin de dormir. Je n'ai pas de dormir. Petit, je n'ai pas de Tout a souffert. Là, je n'ai pas de niveau intellectuel qui est avancé pour me sortir dans une situation meilleure ni mon moun yo là me senti vraiment pauvre corps physique là pauvre mental là pauvre et ou même riche qui a tendé qui ça que nous voulez parler des riches là so i i know that that i'm less happy with more money and i know that i still want more I like things and I, I pursue the things, but the things only make me happy for a short period of time. And, and, uh, and then I go back and I have the challenges of my family and I, and I don't know how to, to make a depressed person happy. You can't, you can't give them a thing and make them happy because their brain is not happy. So I, I feel frustrated that The, the, the cures don't exist and I can't just wave a magic wand and make my son. Better. Eu morava num lugar onde era cercado de mansões e eu morava em barraco. E eu sabia que aquelas pessoas, às vezes, jogavam comida fora no lixo. E a gente, eu principalmente, com fome, querendo um pouco de comida para comer. Para mim, a pobreza me entristece, mas me entristece por causa da injustiça. Porque se todo mundo tivesse alimento, pelo menos alimento, em casa, ela podia raciocinar. Raciocínio é inteligência. Então, poderia ser pobre em casa, de morar em barraco, mas teria inteligência na cabeça para poder sair dali. Eu, graças a Deus, eu consegui vencer isso. Mas e quantos outros não conseguem? E muitos até morrem por isso. Isso é muito triste. Para mim é injustiça pura. La rue est une école très dure. Euh, la pauvreté est un état dans lequel je suis actuellement. Mais à force de le vivre quotidiennement, non pas on s'y complaît, mais on s'y habitue, tout simplement. La pauvreté est un état, mais... c'est un état qui dure. Et pour beaucoup. Pour beaucoup trop. Oh, là, là. What the hell I'm doing here? Why can't you build, build it, but y'all, y'all build your why and see what the hell going on? Let's switch for a minute. <laughs> Let's switch. You come here, be me, and I go there and be you. Then when we meet up in this mid land or the equator, then we'll pick up and uh uh. <laughs>
pero no ahora por ser presidente. Esto lo pensamos mucho, pasamos más de 10 años de soledad en el calabozo. Y tuvimos tiempo, tuvimos 7 años sin leer un libro. Y tuvimos mucho tiempo para pensar. Y descubrimos esto. O logras ser feliz con poco y liviano de equipaje, porque la felicidad está dentro tuyo. ...o no logran nada. Esto no es una apología de la pobreza... ...esto es una apología de la sobriedad. Y, pero como hemos inventado una sociedad de consumo... ...consumista... ...y la economía tiene que crecer... ...porque si no crece es una tragedia... Inventamos una montaña de consumo superfluo y hay que tirar y, y vivir comprando y tirando y lo que estamos gastando es tiempo de vida. Porque cuando yo compro algo o tú no lo compras con plata, lo compras con el tiempo de vida que tuviste que gastar para tener esa plata, pero con esta diferencia. La única cosa que no se puede comprar es la vida. La vida se gasta. Y es miserable gastar la vida para perder libertad.
ตะติลีบานเนี่ยมาเปล่าตะติลีตะสีอ่ะชมมัวมัวเลนเนปานิชมมัวเลนเนปานิมึเรดินิโนชมชมมัวมึเนปาฮอนิซาปาลีมาต
j'ai l'impression que il y a une, une dynamique universelle et si j'en fais pas partie, ça va me briser. J'ai envie, j'ai envie de faire partie de l'histoire de l'humanité. Me being 15 with a nice sentence, what can be the meaning of my life? That is a hard question, but I think the meaning of my life could be, you know, happiness, making everything right, helping out young and older people, you know, just help one another, you know, and stand for something. And just stay out of trouble, don't come to prison. I know that ain't no meaning in life. This ain't no place for nobody, but I don't know. Everybody had their own purpose, so I don't know what my purpose is. And I don't really, I don't know about that question. <laughs> Às vezes eu penso uma, uma frase que eu escutei quando era muito garoto, assim, de um amigo falando, poxa, é, a vida é, é como carregar uma mensagem da criança que você foi um dia pro velho que você vai ser amanhã. E tentar não deixar essa mensagem se perder, se desfazer. Muitas vezes eu me pego perguntando isso, porque... Quando eu era criança, eu pensava tantas coisas bonitas, assim, tão lindas. Nossa, eu quero um mundo sem mendigos, todo mundo feliz. E aí, coisas tão simples, assim, tão sutis, mas... Mas a gente perde isso, né? A vida faz a gente perder. Daqui a pouco a gente tá só trabalhando para poder comprar coisas e, e tá nem aí pro mendigo, nem olha, não ajuda ninguém. Aí você fala, cara, cadê aquela mensagem da criança, né? Talvez a vida, o sentido da vida seja, seja não deixar essa mensagem da criança, sei lá, desaparecer. Isso não é isso. Isso não é isso, Nazana. Putina, Nazana Mukili. Nazana Mukili. Po na na sala oyo nzambe atina na sala na mukil paske na mukil mutu mutu azwana misiona e onzamba atinde lai ngapena zama mukil po na misiona ngai me nzambe nda ebi ngana ebi onante
তাই তোমাদের আমি বলছি মা আমার আমার দিকে তোমরা তাকায় তাহলে ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দিও তোমাদের আমি অনেকবার বলেছি আজকেও বলছি তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও ড্রাগ নাও ভালো না মানুষের শরীরে অনেক ক্ষতি হয় তুমি যদি আমাকে মনে করো যে আমি তোমার মেয়ে তাহলে তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও En fait, j'ai un, un cadet, j'ai un petit frère qui, qui est mort effectivement. Donc il a laissé une petite fille de 4 ans. Et ça, là, malheureusement, encore la maman de, sa fille, de cette fille encore est morte. Donc j'aimerais dire à ce frère-là qu'il qu ne se fait pas de soucis pour cet enfant. Parce que je connaissais l'amour de ce, de ce frère-là par rapport à sa fille. Qu'il sache que cet enfant est, est en des bonnes mains. Que je m'occupe très bien de lui. ดิฉันเป็นผู้หญิงกลางคืนก็อยากส่งข้อความให้คุณพ่อคุณแม่ว่าตอนนี้ไม่ต้องเป็นห่วงแล้วนะคะสบายใจได้เลยตอนนี้หนูทําหน้าที่ของเต็มที่แล้วดูแลน้องได้รักษาน้องได้ให้น้องอยู่บ้านส่งน้องเรียนจะสัญญาว่าจะส่งให้น้องเรียนจนจบไม่ให้น้องลําบากแล้วถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนต่อให้กันจบสูงๆเพราะว่าหนูก็ดีใจที่ว่าน้องได้เรียนจบสูงเพราะหนูไม่มีโอกาสได้เรียนถ้ายังไงก็ถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนจบให้ได้มากที่สุดจนเอาแบบว่าจนคิดว่าหนูไม่มีปัญญาส่งน้องเรียนจบแล้วก็แค่นั้นค่ะสักที่เช่นก็เบียร์กุลฮัมเลิกฮัมและ don't forget who you are and always smile because smiling is the only language that everyone understands <laughs> 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 You've, <clears throat> you've brought up a lot of things for me today. You've made me feel important. You've made me feel that I have something to offer. Uh, you've made me feel that I had a place to go. You made me feel like my stories were welcome. And you made me feel happy. I think people need to feel that they've done something uh, while they've lived. They need to feel that they've contributed. And today you made me feel like I contributed. And I am very grateful to you for that. Thank you. ไม่ได้เวอร์ลี่สตอรี่กราฟรุ่นเนี่ยเนี่ยแคมราบ้าบอกกินเนี่ยวันนี้ที่นี่ยานาสตอรี่กราฟรุ่นเนี่ยพี